So this is the follow on to our down video. Up. So down might be terrifying, but up is a workout. So the best way up a hill is anything that produces a lot of power. So stroke skating is great because you have your feet at this angle, which is completely against the hill and against gravity. So every step is going to take you higher up the hill. Whereas the straighter your feet are, the less power you're going to get. A really good way of getting up a hill is to use your stroke skating. And I'm not going to go into technique here because I've already done a video. But the idea is that you need to keep this foot on the ground as long as you can and in this angle so you can get as much push from it as possible. So then I'm going to turn out and push. Turn out and push. Ugh. You're going to have thighs of steel after this. Out and push. So stroke skating works really, really well. But a technique that I use is more of a run. So it's still the principle of a stroke skate, but it's almost like I'm kind of running. Let me, let me show you what I mean. So it's stroke skating here, but then I kind of lift my feet a bit more and I kind of run. <laughs> so my reasoning behind this one is that every time my foot touches the ground, it's against the down of the hill. Whereas with the stroke skating, you've got one foot that's facing down whilst this one turns and pushes. So this one potentially wants to start rolling back unless you've got enough power. So with this one, I feel like it's just kind of quicker and gets you there and gets the hill over with because it's the down we want. <laughs> So the run is great when you're powering up a really steep hill, but my kind of go-to is a cross between the stroke and the run. So it's more of a gentle stroke, but I still keep my feet at an angle the entire time. And I find this works really, really well. So the technique for this one is to keep in your head the V feet, which we do a lot, so the wheels don't roll away with us. Same principle. So keep your feet in this V when you're pushing like this. So you go back to that V position to get the push. So if you haven't quite got your stroke skating locked in and you're not that happy balancing on just one leg, you can always do a bit of a cheat. So you can push, but you can use your toe stop like this. So it's a little bit of a walking action and it pushes you up the hill. Notice here how I'm not just going onto my toe stop and my wheels, I'm rolling past onto the top of my toe stop to keep that momentum pushing, pushing up all the time. Anything that creates forward momentum will work. So you could even do a bubble if you wanted to. You've just got to really push on those inside edges to get yourself up the hill. <sighs> Another option is always the sidestep. As long as you're against the gravity of the hill. Now you can see here that I'm actually rolling quite a lot. So if you're not comfortable, you can always do toe stops because you might feel a little bit more in control that way. And obviously you can also do this on the grass. Unfortunately, in real life, hills are long sometimes and you can get really fatigued. So I tend to kind of mix it up a bit and you might even have to deal with one of these whilst you're going up the hill. So I'll do this a bit and then I'm starting to get worn out. So I'll go for this one and then I'm almost at the top. So let's give it a run. <sighs> Either way, it's always a great workout. Alternatively, you can always catch a cheeky lift with your cameraman. some of the techniques in this video has helped you so you don't have to tackle all hills like this. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey and I'll see you next time.